Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is around building up the courage and going to the gym for the first time. Over 50% of non-gym goers say they find the thought of going to a gym for the first time scary or intimidating. If you're one of those people, then today's video may help you. Before we jump in, if you can give this video a like and see future videos, hit that subscribe button. If you've done that, let's get to the video. Many, many people see the gym as an intimidating place. They worry that as they walk into the gym, they will be judged and laughed out of the building. Let's be honest, a lot of gyms are intimidating when they shouldn't be. There's incredibly loud music, members grunting, weights slamming, extreme lighting. You've got muscular men and women posing in the mirrors. Gym staff looking like they're bored and unapproachable. It can feel like you're a warthog walking into a hyena den. However, it should be more like this. Hey, call me! picture I have painted is how a lot of people see a majority of gyms. Yes, some gyms are worse than others, but realistically, a lot are much different to how you perceive them. I'm not going to sit here today and say you have nothing to worry about because that isn't going to help you. What I am going to do is try and adjust your perception of the gym environment. To begin with, let's cover some anxieties and fears you may currently have. Biggest one will be looking stupid in front of other people. Walking into a gym without knowing how to use a machine, how to turn on a treadmill, even how to load up a weight machine correctly. You could ask someone near you and honestly, everyone will be happy to help. But building up that courage to ask though is very difficult. All gyms should have an induction meeting when you first sign up. If you don't know how to use something, it's the perfect time to ask. Any new gym I go to, I do an initial walk around. Look at the equipment, figure out what makes sense, look at and see something that doesn't make sense or I've never used before. I use something that I'm very familiar with and then I move on to the equipment that I'm not familiar with. Over time, your knowledge will increase. The weight section of any gym can be an intimidating place for beginners. And a lot of people, especially females, will avoid the weight section due to this intimidation. The weight section has three types of people. One is full of beginners, not really knowing what they are doing. Internally scared and trying to fit in. I would say that that makes up the biggest number. Number two, the body obsessed. You know, the ones flexing, taking pictures. These love themselves and are trying to impress everyone around them. Might even add in the odd grunt while lifting to impress their mate. You know, the mating call of the gym gorilla. Then you have the gym veterans. They will keep themselves to themselves. They know what they are doing and will be looking around the gym remembering their fitness journey. You could ask any one of these groups for advice or help and they would assist in some way. But again, it's building up that courage to ask somebody. The last point is you may feel you are not fit enough to go to the gym and feel you need to be fitted before you go in there. Now, I'm not a fan of this defeatist mentality. If I see an obese person in the gym or a beginner or someone pushing themselves, me, I would be having an internal fanfare because they are kicking ass and improving their health. The gym should be the starting point, the safe zone for your new health lifestyle. Every single person starts somewhere. If you go to the gym for the first time and run on a treadmill for two minutes and leave, then fair play, it's more than you did yesterday. A beginner's barbell workout might begin with just a bar and no weight, but after a couple of months, there will be weight loaded and lifted. If you judge yourself based on the person next to you, then you will increase your stress and anxiety. The person next to you isn't you. They don't have your life, your commitments, and they probably have been going to the gym a lot longer. Or they might be as scared as you are, and they're admiring your courage to train. Food for thought. Go and chill. Yes, that might sound ridiculous. Back in 2015, Terry Crews said, treat the gym like a spa. You can even go and not work out if you don't feel like it, but just go. Walk in the gym, walk around, chat to the staff, grab a magazine and sit down for a bit. Do this every day or every other day. Now, this might sound crazy, but building the habit of physically going to a gym is more important than the workout itself. You want to see the gym as a relaxing environment and being more familiar with the gym is a bonus to the anxiety. Plan ahead, have a plan before you arrive. If you know that you will do five minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes on the bike, chest press, seated row, bicep curls, tricep extensions, then you might finish on the mats with some stretching. You can walk in and dominate. If you have a plan and also have some alternatives in case the equipment is taken, then again, you're going in strong. Without a plan, you are aimlessly walking around the gym. You'll stress yourself out more thinking people are watching you. They won't be. You'll feel like you are being judged for not knowing what you're doing. Again, you won't be. 
In a panic, you'll either walk out of the gym and never return, or you'll jump on some equipment you don't know how to use and injure yourself. Remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. A gym induction, as mentioned before, all gyms should offer new starters an induction. Most gym inductions are done by a friendly trainer who will make you feel at ease. Use this time to use the trainer's knowledge to safely use the equipment and build your confidence around the gym. It's also the perfect time to become familiar with gym areas. If you've never had this or you've never been offered induction, go and speak to them and say, can I have an induction? Can you show me this? Can you do that? And they will. Other options is friends, PTs, group classes. If you are struggling, then bring some moral support. Working out with a partner can be very rewarding. Increases your accountability. Distracts you from the anxiety. Gives you a little friendly competition also. If you don't have any friends or nobody who wants to join you, then you could hire a personal trainer. A PT will offer you accountability, safety and a structured workout plan based on your goals. A cheaper option is group classes. By joining a group class, you become more familiar with the gym, the staff and also some of the members. Certainly worth considering one of these three options to help ease you in. Another beautiful thing about the classes, if you are one of those people who worry about other people around you, well, when you're in a group, and especially in a class, no one is watching you apart from possibly the trainer, but they're only watching you to make sure you're not going to injure yourself. Everyone else is too focused on not dying, that they don't care that you're there. Something to consider. Lastly, if you are struggling with gym anxiety, then going in off-peak hours is certainly worth considering. I don't have gym anxiety, but I will never go to a gym at peak time. It's just mayhem. All gyms have times where they are really busy. This can be normally first thing in the morning, like 6 a.m., around about lunchtime, so 12 p.m., 1 p.m., and then between 4 and 7 p.m. Going to the gym outside these hours will also give you more freedom as equipment will be free and you'll feel less stressed because of that. So a quick recap on the video. See the gym as a friendly and relaxing place, like a spa. Good old Terry Crews. Plan your workouts beforehand. Book in a gym induction if you haven't already done one. Go with a friend. Hire a PT. Join in the class. Go off peak and avoid the busy times. Easy when you put it down like that. I hope after this video it helps you make these first steps to go to the gym and always I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll see you all again soon. Until next time, farewell.